guys, do you notice know anything different about me? My hair is black. Chair! Oh, oh my shit. god! If you've known me for mm, two minutes, you'll know that I do vocal lessons with my favorite singer. Uh, my favorite singer is my vocal coach. I am a fan of my vocal coach. If you don't know me that well, uh, this is Josh Doty. He's the singer of Cemetery Sun. He's my favorite singer, Cemetery Sound's my favorite band, and he's my vocal coach. And I've made a couple videos kind of talking about TikToks about him being my vocal coach and stuff, but I've never made a video specifically about it, and I thought it'd be interesting because, you know, so many people have vocal coaches, but not many people can say that their vocal coach is also the singer of their favorite band. It's an experience, I'll say that. <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to talk about it kind of share maybe a story or two from some of my vocal lessons and it'll be fun, it'll be interesting. So one of our six lessons we worked on a Cemetery Sun song. We're going to work on the same song again during our next lesson. It was it was cool because you know I got to work on one of his songs and you know I mean like technique and everything still kind of the same but like he was able to like explain it to me better I guess and like he also was able to give me insight about what the song is about, so it like kind of helped me be able to sing it better. Josh is super cool, and at the end of all of our lessons, he lets me get a screenshot with him. And I do that so I can post on Instagram and just say nice things about him, because I appreciate him. I think the first, I think my first vocal lesson, he asked me to get a screenshot. Just internally, I'm like, okay, so I kind of want to do this every time. Um, my second lesson, I did not get a screenshot, but now at the end of all my lessons, I'm like, I'll let, uh, can we get a screenshot and then I'll let you go, because most of the time we go longer than our normal time period, but whatever. I post them on Instagram, say nice things about it, but also, it's like I have like, what, five selfies with my favorite singer? <laughs> my goal in life is to meet Josh and get a selfie of us holding up the peace sign. This is our first screenshot, both of us held up the peace sign, and I wanna do like a how it started versus how it's going. Maybe someday, when he says stuff like, you know, I'm doing great, I'm doing a good job, whatever. It means like so much more than if I was just doing lessons with any vocal coach because it's somebody I actually admire. I don't know if I had, he's the only vocal coach I've ever had, so I can't compare it to any sort of other experience. Hypothetically, like if I had another vocal coach, I would, I don't know if I would admire them as much because I'm not a fan of them. <laughs> you know, they'd just be my vocal coach. One of the reasons I've wanted to do vocal lessons for a while but never did is that my friend Katie has a vocal coach, I'm pretty sure, and she's like classically trained. That's not the music I want to sing. Where Josh, he makes the music I like to sing. Another story about somebody I know. Um, I go to a GSA at school, and the school psychologist runs that. There was a moment where it was just me and her, and I was talking about my vocal lessons, and she's like, you know, she had worked with a vocal coach before, but that vocal coach had picked the song for her, and, you know, it wasn't something that she really felt comfortable singing. Where, when I work with Josh, I pick the song. During my last vocal lesson, I told him, like, I know I said that we were gonna work with Avalanche this time, but I have a different song in mind, and that's okay. And he was like, no, never! But he was, like, joking. Like, you know, I get to pick the song that we work with, and we work with it and it works. I find out like stupid little tiny shit about Josh that's like not significant in any way but it's stuff I wouldn't know if I wasn't one of his vocal students and we hadn't like weren't doing lessons. Like one of my vocal lessons it was in January he's like oh you're 17 and I'm like no I'm 18 I turned 18 on December 30th and he's like oh we're both Capricorns and then like Minutes, maybe even seconds later, he like told me he wasn't like big on like astrology or anything. Another thing that I found out is when we were working with Want by Set It Off, I'm like, you you know this song, right? Because you toured with them. Um, he hadn't toured with them yet because they had to reschedule the tour. They're touring together in November. And he's like, you know, I'm touring with them. I should probably listen to some of their stuff, but I'm like terrible at listening to music. And I'm like, I'm the same way. Like, I want to listen to new artists, but I just keep going back to Cemetery Sun. And he's like, oh, well, as long as it's my band. <laughs> But it's like, I found, I found out that we had that in common, and it was just cool. It's like stupid little shit that like really doesn't matter, but it's like, 
I know this about him and it's cool. My mom is not a huge fan of me doing vocal lessons and you're probably thinking, Tiffany, this is not a pro, this is a con. Hold on, give me a second, let me speak. Long story short, we got into an argument one time and she's like, we're not gonna pay you your allowance with Venmo anymore. And that made me mad because it's like, how am I gonna pay for my vocal lessons? And she's like, your vocal lessons are a waste of money because you don't want to be a singer. But then, like, you know, after the argument kind of died down a little bit and we talk to each other she's like you know he's a recording artist he you know your favorite singer like that it makes sense i'll let you keep doing that so i'm pretty sure the only reason she still lets me do vocal lessons is because they're with josh so the last pro i had written down is that it's just a cool thing to flex you know how many times I've told people in school I do vocal lessons with my favorite singer? I never shut up about it. It's so cool. How many people can say that their favorite singer is their vocal coach? And I think a bigger flex is that like anyone can be like, oh yeah, I started doing vocal lessons and then I found out he makes music and I really like his music. I found out about Cemetery Sun before I found out that Josh did vocal lessons. That wasn't the last note. It was just, the, there's one more, but it adds on top of the last one. I got to talk to Set It Off on Wednesday. It was the 23rd. I got to talk to Set It Off because they did a karaoke Q&A Zoom thing and they picked me for karaoke. And I'm like, you guys know Cemetery Sun, right? You guys are gonna tour with them. So Josh from Cemetery Sun is my vocal coach and I just had a vocal lesson right before this. So that was so cool to say in front of another band. Like, I don't know, it's cool. Now we get to the cons. Before I start, this is no tea, no shade at Josh. We love Josh. This is mostly like a me being in my head thing. All of the cons that I mentioned are probably less about being a fan of your vocal coach and it's probably just me being me, but I'm still going to mention them. Before my vocal lessons, I get really bad vocal lesson anxiety. And it's not just, oh, I'm nervous. Like, my legs start to shake, I have a harder time breathing, and it's like, once Josh calls me, I answer the call and we start talking to each other, the anxiety isn't there anymore. I remember a couple times, oh my god, the January, my January vocal lesson, because it was before my America's Got Talent audition, I was telling him how nervous I was, played the song, I did my thing, and right when I was done, he was like, I feel like your nerves were bullshit. You know, I feel nervous, but then like once we get going, it's like, oh, well, it's just like I, I said to him the other day, I get this energy that I feel like I never have. And you know, like, he was telling me like, oh, you're gaining confidence, and it's like, at first I thought it was just, yeah, I'm gaining confidence. I can sing in front of Josh without feeling shaky or anything. And that's it. That's what I thought it was. That's just it. But I've really been gaining confidence overall. We're back to the pros, I guess. But yeah, I get really bad vocal lesson anxiety and I wish I could stop it. I wish I could breathe normally and not have my legs shake before while I'm standing in front of my tripod waiting for Josh to call me. But it's just, that's just how it is. And I don't think there's a way for me to stop it. It just happens. This might make no sense to you guys. I really don't know how to explain it, but like Cemetery Sun Josh is different from Vocal Coach Josh. And it's the same thing with me on my end. Like, you know, Cemetery Sun fan Tiffany is different from vocal student Tiffany. I feel like it's different. And like being able to, you know, having to control the two sides of me while interacting with this man and like, you know, I actually, I have an example of this. The example I have is that Cemetery Sun posted a TikTok the other day. What's up? We're Cemetery Sun. We're your new favorite band. Check this out. And the way that Josh talked in it, I feel like he changed his voice for the sake of the TikTok. Like, when he talks to me, I, he just sounds like he's talking to me, but in the TikTok he was like, What's up? We're Cemetery Sun. We're your new favorite band. I just spit everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> Seeing Josh in my notifications when he like likes one of my covers or he DMs me, it gives me whiplash. I, my heart beats, like skips a beat or something. And it's like, I mean, he has to DM me in order to schedule a vocal lesson. You know, if I DM him being like, hey, can we schedule a vocal lesson? And he DMs back with like, yeah, what, what days work for you? That's how communication works. But it's like, man, he DM'd me. I wrote this down, but it doesn't really happen anymore. I used to get really nervous during my lessons. Well, I say that, but one of the examples I'm talking about was like last month. So, um, 
I was singing Fever Dream, my voice got really shaky. Literally in that like space between the first verse and the chorus, I'm like, Josh, my voice is really shaky, I'm sorry. We get to the end of the song and he's like, you're warmed up, do it again, but like feel every note you're going, you know, you know you're singing, whatever. And it's like, man, I had to sing it again just because I was nervous. And literally like, I remember my first lesson, I told him I almost canceled because I was scared of him, but it's like, I'm not scared of him anymore. This one is very specifically a me thing, like, I don't want to DM him every single time a vocal circumstance happens. He told me it's fine and I'm not crossing any boundaries, but it's like, still, he's like one person and I'm like, oh my god, hi, society, like, form words, like, he has several vocal students, but he's my vocal coach, you know what I mean? Like, he has to see other people's DMs, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but like, a couple weeks ago, I had a meltdown because I felt like I couldn't sing, I felt like I couldn't gain any confidence, I feel like I was stuck in my head, and I sent him a novel, a novel of a rant, and I immediately felt bad for it because it's like, he doesn't need to know that shit, he doesn't, I don't want to say he doesn't care, but like, he shouldn't care. <laughs> It's just me. I'm just it's I'm not important, but then there is a flip side to it I most of the time when I record my covers when I'm done I think wow that was bad But I'm trying to get myself out of that because that's a very in my head thing to do and I need to get out of my head So I can be more relaxed so I can sing better So I recorded my cover of half of my hometown and when I was done I was like wow that was really good and I wanted to tell Josh that I was ha I had that kind of revelation like wow I recorded a cover and I didn't think it sucked immediately after I was done I never told him that, I just had that urge to, but it's like I can't DM him every single time something happens, that'd be annoying. But again, that's me, that's a me thing. He has never told me to shut up, he's never told me I'm annoying. In fact, he's told me the opposite, he was like, you know, it's not crossing a boundary, you just have to, you know, respect that my life is chaotic and I'm not going to answer you immediately, but I do see all of your messages and it's like... He doesn't have to see all my messages. He really doesn't. Oh, this one's stupid. I have a cat named Josh. <laughs> it's a little difficult. Like, I mean context clues, yeah, but like when you're talking about... I was talking to my mom about the next tattoo I wanted, which is in Josh Doty's handwriting, and she liked the idea so much that she wanted to get the same words in my dad's handwriting, so she goes to my dad and she's like, Tiffany talked to me about her next tattoo and she wants it in Josh's handwriting and I swore he was going to make a joke about our cat, but he didn't. But I thought he was going to. I one day just want Josh, my cat, to be in the room during a vocal lesson so I could just pick him up and be like, this is my cat, his name is Josh, no relation. I think I've already mentioned this, but like DMing him is scary and it's weird. I, apparently I made a TikTok about this, so I'll just put that, I'll put that on the screen. You guys know how weird it is to be a fan of your vocal coach? And I told him, you know, once I get my singing voice back, because I have COVID, that I want to do another lesson with him. Well, now that my voice is kind of sort of mostly back, I have to, like, DM him about that. You know how weird it is to just DM a singer of a band that you love and just be like, hey, can we do a vocal lesson soon? Like, that's so weird. Oh my god, I get flustered so easily. He was like, you sound great. Like, if you sing this for Cody in a little bit, like, it's gonna sound really good. Like, Cody's gonna be like, oh shit. And I went red like a tomato. Our sessions, most of the time, it's like, we work on a song for a little bit, but then the rest of the time, he's like, gives me like a pep talk. And he told me it's something he needs too, so it's beneficial for both of us. I get so flustered. I, I remember the first time that happened was um, a couple lessons ago when we were working with Fever Dream. And by the time we took our screenshot, I was such a fucking tomato. And like, you know, when he said what he said the other day, I'm like, stop! I'm getting embarrassed, I'm blushing! <laughs> Oh, one more thing. So, okay, where do I start? I guess I could start with when, literally right after I uh, was done talking to Set It Off, I like messaged Josh. I'm like, I was picked for the Set It Off Zoom. I don't think I could do this, or at least do as good as I did without your help, so thank you. And he messaged me back and he was like, I'm so happy to hear that, amazing news, great job. A couple people from my team were there and they loved it. And then he sent me a voice message. So then I sent him voice messages back. They told me you shouted me out. I did, I was like, you guys know the band Cemetery Sun, right? So Josh from Cemetery Sun is my vocal coach. I just did a lesson before this. 
but what's even crazier is that like literally doing that is like it made me realize that like you told me yesterday that you know i was gaining confidence and it's like yeah i can sing in front of josh without being nervous but that zoom call yesterday made me realize that, like i'm overall like completely gaining confidence so it's that was, that was just kind of crazy kind of wild kind of wacky and this was during my science fiction class yesterday he says that's exactly how it should feel very proud of you and i said to him you're about to make me cry in my science fiction class i just he has to deal with me being a little idiot smiling like an idiot blushing like an idiot oh so this is kind of very kind of a little bit to what i was just kind of connects to what i was just talking about i feel weird acting like myself with him like i don't know how to explain it but like i sent him a voice message yesterday or was it it wasn't yesterday it was two days ago i sent him a voice message yesterday i never send voice messages to josh you know like i sent him a picture I feel like every time I act like myself in front of him, either during a lesson or in his DMs, I like lose five years from my lifespan. So last couple things. This is very important. I guess this could have gone under pros, but it was less about being a fan of your vocal coach and more of just having a vocal coach. I've hated my voice for 17 years. I am 18 years old and after 17 years I can listen to my voice and not hate it. And you know whose fault that is? Partially mine, but mostly Josh's. You know, I give this man credit for, you know, he is the man that made me not hate my voice anymore. And after 17 years, that's a big deal. So the last note I have, I don't really know if it's a pro or a con. But if I were to meet Cemetery Sun, like after a show or something, Josh is gonna know who I am, and I don't know how to feel about that. There's like a 90% chance that that man is gonna know my name if I ever meet him. That's kinda scary! I don't know if I like that or not. Anyway, that was just me kind of ranting about my vocal coach, Josh, if you see this. I can delete this if you want. You can just tell me to delete it and I will delete it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, liked it, comment down below, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, share with your friends, all that crazy, wacky, weird, amazing, fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I never know how to end these things.